too long. <gasps> In another courtroom. But the other little girl was quite good, too. And given the discretion that has to be allowed to producers in these situations... Your Honor, we have something called the Equal Protection Clause. We have something called the 14th Amendment. I believe it's actually required reading for judges. I could be wrong there. Let me hear it, Your Honor. Al Sharpton enters. I heard about this matter. I would like to address this court on what I consider... I'm sorry, Reverend, but you have no standing here. I have standing as an American citizen speaking up on a civil rights violation. Reverend Sharpton, I'm standing I would ask as Bobby you Kennedy. I'm standing no standing on the steps of the courthouse in, in Alabama. No one is denying this little girl an education, sir. She just can't play Annie. You may think this is a small matter, but this is no small matter. This child is being denied the right to play an American icon because she doesn't match the description. Those descriptions were crafted 50 years ago. We're supposed to be in a different day. We talk about racial equality, how we're making progress. The problem with that progress is it's always a day away. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you love that because it's always a day away. I'm here to stick out my chin today, today. Give us an African-American Spider-Man. Give us a black that can run faster than a speeding bullet and leap over tall buildings in a single bound. Not tomorrow, today, today. The sun needs to come out today, not tomorrow, Your Honor. God Almighty, give the American people a black orphan Annie. It's just not good enough to say she doesn't look the part. Judge Sharpley is stunned. <laughs> Sharpton turns to Alan. That's what we call a rabbit son. Get it right. He leaves Alan beaming, and the gallery stands in ovation as he majestically exits the courtroom. Sharply shrinks, then meets Alan's expectant gaze.